All right, prom season is here. Before you know it, it will be graduation time as well. And all those events can really add up. So the Better Business Bureau has your back with a warning about scams that can cost you even more. This is Laura Hutchinson stretching your dollar tonight with what to look out for. Prom night is rarely cheap. It can cost anywhere from $100 to $2,000 when you add up the limo, the tux, the dress, the flowers, and anything else to make it a night to remember. But the Better Business Bureau of Connecticut says they are starting to see students complaining about unethical practices costing them even more money. So here's what you need to look out for. Some shops are switching out the labels on stock clothing with designer labels and they're jacking up the price. So be careful about about that. Students are trying on dresses in stores and then finding a slightly cheaper version online only to find that it's cheaply manufactured and it's falling apart before they even have the chance to wear it or the shipment arrives too late or not at all. But there are some things that you can do to protect yourself. For one thing, check the Better Business Bureau to see if the shop you're working with has a record of complaints. Stick with a safe payment method. Pay with a credit card that protects you when you need to dispute any charges charges and make sure that you can actually find the seller. Do they have a physical location somewhere and a working telephone number if you need to contact them with any issues? Also look for that HTTPS in the corner of your browser before you buy anything. That lets you know that the website you're using is secure before you enter your payment information. Those are just a few things that can help you. You can find more tips on our website WTNH.com. Remember awareness is key this time of year. There are people looking to take advantage of you. You want this to be a night to remember for your kids with only fond memories. Helping you stretch your dollar. I'm Laura Hutchinson, News 8.